Right. So in terms of doing scratch, you know you can go straight into the create, but I just want to cover what happens if you are working on some code but you want to be able to save it. So if you get the option to log in like I have, and then you can access your stuff. And then you can load your last thing. And this will go into your code, and then basically anything you do will be saved. So if you want to call this uh, you know, touch screen game, or what have you, that'll be the name it's under. Um, and every time you do something new, this gets saved, which is great. The other thing is once you do finish, you can go file, save to your computer. It will save a file, and then when you start up something new again, you'd go file, load from your computer, and you have to find that file where you saved it, so you must, must know where you saved it. So I'll do that at the end. Um, all right, so we want to get this cat moving. We've done this before, um, but the issue is how to do, get it working on a touch device. So I'm going to make a new sprite, and I'm going to draw it. So I'll just start with a square. I can change my color, but um, that's fine. So yeah, so we'll draw our button. Uh, in terms of the colors, obviously whatever makes you happy. Um, but I will draw a very unexciting gray box, which that's quite big, so I'll shrink that down a little bit. But it needs to be big enough to press easily. And then I'll draw a line, which I'll just draw above. And I might make that a bit thicker if I can. I'll just click on that. And oh no, I need that one there. Da, 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 da. And we'll do another. That looks like an arrow to me. Um, then I will select all of them, then move it into the box. And the reason why I draw it out of the box first is so I don't have to worry about clicking and getting on the box and having troubles. So um, you go, there's one box. Um, this is called Sprite 2. I'm going to rename this Sprite so you can see down here, this is the naming. So I've clicked the Sprite, there's the naming. And I'll just call this Right. Um, then I'm going to be a bit cheeky about this, I am going to uh, duplicate the sprite. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Um, and then I'm going to flip horizontal. So there's that one there, flip horizontal. And then I'm not going to call that right too, but I am going to be calling it left. So there we go. We've got left and right. I'll put down there. In the bottom corner, just like you would find in a lot of uh, iPad or cell phone type games, where they have the controls there. Um, normally, it's more of a joystick, and then you have your other options. But yeah, close enough. So, how are we going to do this? So, we're going to say, "Oops, events green flag clicked forever." This is for Oh, it's on the sprite. Yep. Okay, let's have a look at this. Right, and this will be events. Green flag clicked forever. If. Now we want to go under sensing. And we're going to be saying. If touching the mouse pointer, so when we're over the game screen with our actual finger and we're touching on it, this it will actually act as a as this mouse that I'm using here as well. So it'll it'll treat it like it's a mouse. But I need to say if the mouse pointer is touching our right sprite, so if we double click it, it's flashing, so that's the right sprite. And also that we're actually pressing down, which we will be doing, so we need an AND, so I'll say if 
touching mouse pointer and mouse down, I want to be able to send basically a message to this sprite and say move right somehow. So there's a there's a few different ways you can do it, but probably a a more pra uh, a more kind of tr traditional type way to do it would be using a variable. Um, so I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it move right. And I am going to say set move right to right, set move right to one, which basically is like on. And then if this code's not running, I'll say set move right to ah, you know what? Be a little bit more efficient, I apologize is there's an if else which will shift this and out put it there oh put it back in the forever grab this one from underneath right there we go set that one there so i say if we're pressing if we're touching it we want this set right to be one and then i'll just duplicate and reuse this Otherwise, I'd want this set right to be zero, which is basically off. So we've got, it's either going to be on or off. It can't be on and off at the same time. That's why I did the if else. Um, so if we run this and then I click, it's on, let go off. Click on, let go off, which is great. So if we jump back to our Sprite One Cat, um, We'll say if we'll say equals to, and we're going to have variables, and we we'll say now if right, if right is equal to one, which is on, we'll say motion, like we did previously, like you did with um, uh, before. Point of direction. Move ten steps looks next costume come back here next costume all right so now if we run this and we test it we get movement then the left key is going to be virtually the same so as a way to make life a little bit easier for myself i'm going to click into this right key and i'll show you a trick you can drag your code over this see how it wobbles let it go then I go in there, it's got this here. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to, I'll just change this. So I'm going to go into my variables and I'm going to make another variable called move left. Okay. And I'll change this from move right to move left. Move right, move left. And now when I click left, oh. Oh, if I press start, sorry, if I press start, see the code's now highlighted, it's active. I press, left is off, on, on, off. That one works, so I go here. And I will stop the game for a sec. Duplicate. Move it down. Get rid of that one there. And I'll put in move left. And this needs to point that way. So negative 90. So now if I start, move left, oh, I'm upside down, move right, move left. Okay, so I'm going to grab this sprite, and the way to fix that is under motion, down, and this is rotation, left, uh, rotation style, left, right. So I'll put that back in. So I press start, there we go. Left, right, left, right. And there we go. So we've managed to get moving left and right with... Just a normal um, our key, our key now with the screen press. If you wanted to do things falling down the screen to either try and avoid or collect, because um, they could be, you know, fireballs or something sharp and pointy, um, 
or it could be something good that you want to collect, um, totally up to you, uh, then that would be normal. Um, if you had another action like you wanted your, your cat or your main character to shoot something out, um, then you'd probably, you would have to add another button to do the shoot. But we would leave it there, um, and then this will be another video that will start up. So just to show you, now that we've kind of finished, I'm going to go File, Save to your computer. Now it's just popped down here for me. No option to ask me where it's going to save. So if I click this arrow and then go Show in Folder, it's gone straight to my downloads and it's been given that same name, which is fine. And then if I had, say I'd gone out, say yet yeah, leave, and I say create, it's just going to make another copy for me in my files, but it really doesn't matter. I go file, load from my computer, and then I would go into my downloads. That's the game right there, touch screen. So if I click that, go open, replace, yes. There you go. Green flag click, and we're all still working. Okay, there you go. So that's it, all in action um, there for you to see.